everybody, welcome back to the Great Dane channel. And first of all, this video is sponsored by PetSafe, who was kind enough to send me a training collar for Finn. Now I know some of you may not agree with a remote training collar, but we've got some behavior issues with Finn that we are working hard to try and correct. No Magic. whiny, wimpy little pooch, don't, don't you see? The great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. That's what Finn Yeah, is. but he's doing all Magic's right. Got a sweater. And it's a Finn great. likes to bark at any delivery person who comes to the door. He also likes to constantly attack and harass Magic. And beyond that, he's a great dog, but that gets a little irritating. The other thing, the minute Ginger the cat makes one little noise upstairs, Finn charges for that area. So I asked them if they could send me a collar. This is also the company that makes their uh, keep safe breakaway collars that you saw Mr. Magic on. Woo, look at that. Remember that. You can see the link for that down in the description. Oh, hi, Magic. So, um, Let's take a look. This company also owns Invisible Fence and Sport Dog, and they recently acquired Kurgo. It's about a $175 collar that they sent me. So here it is. This is the uh, 900 yard. It's from PetSafe. It's a remote trainer. Right, Magic? Okay, it's got tone, vibration, and 15 levels of static stimulation. But um, we'll first be testing it on some member of the family to make sure it's humane. Connor, come over here. Ooh, that's the remote. Nice little ergonomic remote. Yeah, so this is waterproof and rechargeable and uh, good for up to uh, 900 feet. So the collar's adjustable. Magic, we're just gonna test it on you. We're not gonna put it on him. Okay, this has a two dog collar feature so you can control one dog or the other. And then it has two buttons on top. One for tone and one for Vibrate. Static. Oh yeah, you can feel a little bit of, oh, static stimulation. Four, five, six, seven. It's definitely, you can feel it, but it's not knocking your socks off. I thought we were able to go up to, oh, it locks out at eight, so you have to, ooh, yeah, we feel that one on number seven. Probably don't need to go higher than seven for now. We'll start it on four, just to get some attention. Okay, Finny, come here. Come, good boy. Come, come, come. Good boy, yeah. Yeah. All right, so the collar's on, it works. At, uh, at six, he just did a little notice of what's going on. So just an opportunity to try and get his attention. And I think importantly, you gotta, you gotta understand the right way to use this collar. So we'll be trying this and give you guys an update as we go, but I really like the technology. It's really solidly made and it is USB rechargeable, which is fantastic. And it comes with the charging cords, one for each. So you can charge them at the same time. Let's get the one. Get it, 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 get it. Come here. Finn, sit. Good boy. Finn, come. Oh, good boy. Come. Come, 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 come. 
And Finn, sit. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, guys, you see how he's being so good? Now, some of you may just crush me for this in the comments. I am testing a an e-collar with audible tone, vibrate, and stimulation from 1 to 15. From PetSafe, a company that I have partnered with. They also own Kurgo, who makes the safety harnesses. And this is a device that we got because of the barking and the attacking of the door that Finn does. So we only use it in kind of safety circumstances, I would say. And I can tell you that I have used the static about three times, and that's all it took for him to know when that collar's on, because it has a tone, you need to listen. Watch this. Finn, come. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, go on. I've had this product for over five or six months and I just really haven't been ready to show it to you all um, because I know that it's a device that is controversial. But the way I've used it is when, when he first acted up, we put the collar on him. The amount of Amazon and UPS delivery trucks coming is just ridiculous. So every time they come, these guys attack the door. Finn goes up to the side light on the door with both paws. I'm just afraid he's gonna break it out cut himself badly so we put this collar on him when the first time he react I gave him some stimulation and that's all it took I just brought magic out magic always runs away when I bring him outside and with him I magic was fine he was with me then all of a sudden he got that wild hair and he ran off to the neighbor's yard I called him he didn't recall I called him again I hit him with like a level three which is I can't even feel a level three I had to bring it all the way up to a level seven for him to react and come back to me. So basically they're moving away from discomfort and I did test this on my hand and my arm um, and it's just something that gets your attention. It's nothing that does any permanent damage. So uh, I think it's something that could work in certain applications. I think it's potential to be overused is high. So I would warn against that. And I'm actually you know, confident enough to be out here with Finn with no leash. If another dog came out, I don't believe he would go after the dog. Um, and, you know, it's, it's something that creates a whole other level set of options. Good boy. Got to keep encouraging him because he actually is unsure of where he can go. And if you think of like an invisible fence, it completely works on the same philosophy. And I can tell you, it seems like every house in my neighborhood has an invisible fence. So, um it's no more or less uh, controversial than that, um, but I'm sure invisible fences are not approved in many parts of the world. All right, so I just spotted Aria, the dachshund next door, and I got a little worried, but Finn didn't see Aria, and I'm sure it would have been no problem. Now watch this from far away. Finn, sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Finn, come. Come. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Hi. Oh, it's a good boy. Good boy. The entire training session this morning, uh, Finn didn't receive a single stimulation. The magic did have to get one because he ran off to the neighbors and then he came back and he was fine and then he stuck around. And so I'm really happy with this and I think it's something that has its place but not to be overused and if you don't know what you're doing, get professional training. Yeah, go inside. Let's go inside. Good boy. Getting the front porch redone, all rotted wood, carpenter ants everywhere. So Eric, my good guy, is doing that work. Good boy, sit. Oh, that's such a good boy. Wait. Stay. Oh, I see who's here. Stay. Okay, get in the house. Good boy. Now, how about the wrestling? We want to stop that wrestling. Go this way. Come on. Don't do it, Finn. No. Come on. Leave him alone. Good boy. Great Dane stands six foot five. Feel this cold wet nose when I close my eyes. It's a great Dane in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just as good?